everybody, it's Adam from Tested and we have a really cool unboxing today. It is in this box and oh, it makes me so excited. But before I crack this and show you what's inside, we're gonna do a little bit of history. See, humans have always been interested in numbers and quantifying their surroundings. It's one of the ways in which we further understand the universe and we have invented some very clever methods for doing it. In the beginning, of course, humans use things like an abacus. Abacus? 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 And abac this. They use things like this to do some fairly sophisticated calculations. Um, later on, of course, we move to things like the slide rule. This very make and model is similar to what the uh, scientists for the Apollo program used to get us to the moon. And of course, we're all familiar with digital calculators. But this this is a special digital calculator because it was the first mass market produced hand held digital calculator. And what Texas Instruments did with this was not only bring about a sea change in computation for the masses, but they also killed, they killed dead what may have been the most advanced mechanical calculator ever released to the public. And that's where this story begins. This is one of my favorite devices in all of the world, and it's called a Curta computer, uh, invented by Kurt Herstuck. Uh, while imprisoned in a concentration camp in World War II, I'm serious, he came up with the idea for this calculator in the concentration camp, and when the war ended, he went and built a few hundred thousand of these over several decades. This is a Type 1 Curta computer. It is a completely mechanical. You set, uh, according to this register, the numbers that you want to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and then you turn this little crank. The crank was the reason it was affectionately known as the coffee grinder calculator and the results come up here on top. Now this is a type 1 and this is a type 2. I am proud to own a pair of these in my collection because mechanically they're masterpieces. There's over 600 pieces in this little baby. And that's where the unboxing happens. See, What's in here is a very special Curta computer. About a year and a half ago or so, I became aware that there was this guy online named Marcus Wu who had endeavored to make his own Curta on a 3D printer. Because the resolution of a 3D printer is fairly low, he was making it large scale, a giant, oversized Curta computer. I think it's 3X sized. Um, and I asked if I could purchase one from him and we worked out a deal. And in this box right here is a three times normal sized 3D printed Curta computer from Marcus. Ah, can you imagine? Well, you don't have to imagine because we're gonna open it right now. What did he do? Oh my God, there's a box? <gasps> Marcus is clearly an obsessive and amazing craftsperson for even endeavoring to make a Curta computer. But lo, he has, look at this. I don't even know which way to, oh, I guess this is how, right. <gasps> okay, he's made an absolutely gorgeous doweled wooden box with a label here that says Curta in the original logo of the Curta computer. I'm, I'm feeling a little emotional right about now. Okay, here we go. Nice brass hardware. Oh. oh. Now, we actually have footage of Marcus assembling, building this uh, Curta computer for me, and that will be part of this video because it's an insane endeavor to put one of these together. There are so many tiny little parts. Even at 3X scale, I'm certain there are some parts of surpassing tininess and precision required. <sighs> Without further ado, let us see what Marcus hath. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh man. <laughs> Marcus, you are a madman. Look at the finish on this thing. Holy. <sighs> I'm having trouble not using expletives. I'm so excited. 
maybe you just blur my mouth for a second. Holy <laughs> There we go. You know roughly what I said. Look at this thing. It is, he's replicated a three time, sorry. <laughs> I was just about to tell you some facts about it, but then I looked at the bottom. And so on the bottom of a Curta computer, this is what it says. Made in Liechtenstein, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the serial number, et cetera. Here's what Marcus has put on the bottom of his. <laughs> so full disclosure, Marcus uh, came out while I was out on tour this spring and we spent an evening uh, going over one of the rough um, interim builds of this and I saw it and it was magnificent then, but it doesn't even hold a candle to what this is. The finish is just as beautiful as it looks uh, upon the first glance here. Uh, it's so pretty, oh my God, okay. So, I want to run it through some paces here. Let's see. Uh, first there's, right, there's that. That's the zeroing knob. The register's set just like on a normal computer. That is a long helical gear. Oh man, look at that. Okay, so if we take, let's say, 50, Five, uh, 550, and we turn the dial once. It functions just like the real thing. The number 55 comes up here, wow. And then if I want to erase that, watch this. Ready? You can take mm -hmm. a look at all these. Isn't that crazy? I'm so terrified of breaking any part of this by moving it, but it's so beautiful. You know how much I love objects. This is a truly magnificent object. And Marcus, I applaud your insanity, <laughs> your dedication, um, your perseverance, and your actual building and finishing techniques. This is truly magnificent, and I am so honored to add it to my collection. Thank you.